Hi, this is Eric from Blue Mountain Precision. Um, we're pushing the 6.5 SOM cartridge a whole lot these days. Uh, I love it. It's an awesome, awesome caliber. Lots of power, hard hitting for a 140 grain bullet. Um, this thing will do some dramatic damage on any kind of game animal you're hunting or perform very well in a long range competition. Anyways, um, what we use for this is, uh, what I'm using today anyways, is 7 SOM brass uh, by Norma. And we're going to neck this down to this size, is what we're going to do. This is a 7 SOM, and this is a 6.5. Take you by step by step. Got some of the equipment out here you're going to need. Uh, these are available through us. These are a Redding Custom Die uh, 6.5 300 uh, Remington SOM, is what that is. And it's a pre made die that Redding makes just to make it a quick, easy process. To neck that brass down, you can either use 300 or you can use 7 millimeter to take it down to this 6.5 saw. So, anyways, um, you just take a little imperial grease here, a little <clears throat> sizing wax, and put that on there. Put it in your press. This thing's already preset. Form that down. Now we have a 6.5 millimeter. So. Anyways, let's wipe that off, get that clean, and then the next step that we need to do for this to make 6.5 SOM brass is now the length's changed on it because we've squeezed the brass. So now we need to take it over to our Hornady prep tool here, and we're going to cut the case length down to 2.020 inches, and that's going to be uh, set up so then that way we can... Do the next step. Okay, we're over here at the Hornady Lock and Load Prep Station here. Uh, the station works pretty good for this. I already have it all set up. I'm not taking time in this video to show you how to set everything up. It's, you can read the manual for that. Anyways, um, it's set at 2.20, uh, so we just took a fuzz off. We're going to pop this guy out, and now it needs to be re -chamfered, So. We're going to bevel those, clean it up. All right, that's that. Okay, now that we got the brass trimmed um, and it's chamfered on the inside and outside, and we brushed it a little bit, now I come over here. This is the K&M kit. Um, you can pick and choose whatever you want in the K&M kit. Um, what I picked in the beginning uh, was a coupler and, uh, and the expanders. I've got several different expanders in here that I picked what I wanted, different shell holders for the different calibers. Um, this is a handy little tool for you guys at home that do not have a mill or a drill press. You can just chuck that up in a drill and you can put your k and cutting tool, which you're going to see in a second here, in the mill. You can put that in a vise and you can use this to hold your brass and put it into a drill and then you can turn your necks that way. Quick, easy way to do it. So anyways, um, this is expander, so we need to expand it before we go out into the, I'm going to shoot this with just a little bit of wood, and uh, we need to expand that before we go out to the mill here, where my setup is all set up already, so there we go, we expanded that, now let's head to the mill, and I'm going to turn this neck down and show you how I do that. Okay, I'm over here at my mill drill. I've got the K&M tool set up. This is what I was just previously talking about. Um, this tool here, you can put in a vise and you can do it with the drill attachment that I showed you. Or if you have a drill press or mill or whatever, you can do it with this method as well. Um, you simply just hold on to this in the chuck, bring it down, make sure that it's not slopping around on the back side of the vise and vise it in to make sure it's aligned properly. So anyways, um, I do it real simple. I stick the brass up in the chuck and I turn the neck down. Um, what we're turning the neck down is for brass thickness is 14 and a half thousandths on each side. This is a 296 neck. Um, the brass right now is on average around 15 and a half thousandths or so, slightly bigger than that. So we're going to be taking off about a thousandths on each side of brass thickness. Um, from right now, the brass is actually as inconsistent as six to eight tenths of a thousandths inconsistency in the thickness around the neck. And this is why turning necks 
builds a rifle to have so much more accuracy because of it, you have consistent pressure on the bullet and when you resize your brass, the brass thickness is the same, the resizer bushing bushes this down exactly the same every time so pressure on the bullet as it's leaving is the same every time. So anyways we're going to stick this up in the chuck, tighten it up good, put a little grease on the guide there on the carbide guide. Neck down. And it's as simple as that. This neck now is turned down. Let's clean that up. To uh, 14 and a half thousandths on the thickness. Let me check it with my. Yep. Right at 14 and a half is where I'm at. Check it in another spot here. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Now that is going to build some amazing concentricity and amazing accuracy because the tension on that bullet is going to be even all the way around it. So, anyways. Um, now this is set up for a 296 neck, so make sure you specify that when you get your gun built. If you want a 298 no turn neck, you don't have to do this process with a 6.5 SOM. It's much easier and quicker. Um, there's also other brass available for the 6.5 SOM as well. So anyways, this is by far the most accurate. Um, now let's go back into the reloading room and I'm going to show you the last steps of this process. Okay, made it back here to the press. Uh, the last step to this is you want to run back through your resizer. Um, this is going to be again uh, for a 296 neck. It's turned down now to 14 and a half thousandths. I've done the calculations and this bushing that I put in here with this brass at that is a uh, 290 bushing inside my die. And now this is going to form the neck back down to the right dimensions so that way we can reload this bullet. So just give it a little pop of lube there. First one through is always a little dry. Looks good. Let's drop a primer in here, grab a powder charge and see the bullet. There's a the primer. Right, made it over here to the powder measure. I'm going to stick 61 and a half grains. H1000 in there. Again, this is a match rifle, so do not use this at home. Anyways, let's go see the bullet in it and you can see the finished product. We've got the powder charge in. We're going to see the bullet now. Got a 140 grain ELD bullet here from Hornady. Keep that in. All right, we're set. We've got our final load here loaded now. Uh, we have, again, to recap what we've done. Uh, we took and used our die right here from Reading, our custom die to begin with. Took our seven SOM Norma brass because I feel that this is the best consistency brass you can get for the uh, 6.5 SOM cartridge. We necked it down to 6.5 millimeter. And then after we necked that cartridge down, um, we took it over to our uh, expander mandrel and we expanded it. We took it over to a cutter and we cut the length back down to 2.20, 2.020 on the cartridge overall length because that's what it wants to be uh, for the chain. That's what it needs to be for the chamber. So anyways, we trimmed that back down, trimmed the brass, rebeveled it, went to the mill and took off approximately a thousandths of brass thickness to true up the neck and the thickness of the neck. Now the neck's within a tenth of a thousandth on thickness all the way around. And then we came in here back to the neck. We went to the neck resizer because we ha you have to resize your necks after you've done all this. So that way the bullets held by something and consistently held. And we went through that. We powder charged it, seated a bullet. This is how you properly set up seven SOM brass or 300 SOM brass 
to neck it down quick enough. And if you want the ultimate precision, turning necks helps you with this. If you do not, then get a 298 neck inside of your chamber. Don't get a 296 because you're going to have to do this if you want a 296 neck with Norma brass. Anyways, uh, I hope this helped and I thank you a bunch.